Hey, yo, what up, though? It's your boy OG, man, from the former TV show known as OG TV 3139 for just, just for temporary purposes in order that I can get through and bring you guys videos to go around with several stopping me from putting out videos on the other channel. This is the way I got to do it. So, you know, somebody was trying to stop me from even giving y'all a video, but I found a way to get to y'all. But I want to read something to y'all, and this goes to a fact that Anytime you proclaim a nationality and you're giving it and you're demonstrating that and then you obviously along the way, you lose faith or, 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 or values in that, whatever it may be, and you return, you, you allow somebody to influence you to take your name off, something that has a, a divine and earthly salvation to it, you know, somebody else will influence you to take that off, to, just take it, you don't want that on your name. For whatever reason or what fear he put into the individual to take the ill off his name, I want to read some of y'all that y'all don't understand and probably some he'll never understand. But those who want to hear this going to know exactly where I'm coming from. This is a divine warning by the prophet, Nobu Drew Ali. And the prophet warns all Muslims, governors order to read proclamation at each meeting, but even, even though it's being read at each meeting, it's supposed to be practiced and lived every day. You know, you got to fight the live this way. If not, you got, you got to keep fighting until you get it right. But it says, and I'll start it off with it real good. We're going to get two, so we're going to get that one. We do. I got to get two I hereby inform all members that they must end all radical agitating speeches while they're at work in their homes or on the streets. We are for peace and not destruction. Stop flashing your cards at Europeans. It causes confusion. Remember, your card is for your salvation. Failure to obey these orders will be a severe consequence. We are for love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. And when these principles are violated, justice must then take its course. Any member or group of members who hold malicious feelings toward the temple or the prophet or violate the divine covenant of the Moorish movement will receive their reward from Allah for their unjust deeds. All true Moors will and must obey the law as laid down to them by their prophet. If they lose confidence in their prophet, they should turn in their car and button, cease wearing their turban and fez, and return to the state for I, the prophet, found you. That means even when it comes to your name, your suffix. You know what I'm saying? If, if, your, if your name was 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 Mason Brown and you had an eel on your bed, it would be Mason Brown eel or Mason Brown Bay. And once you get that on you, you have this 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 attribute of a law upon you, and you must live a certain way. But on the other hand, flip side, when you remove that eel of bay from your from your name, if your name was um Mr. Brown Bill, Mr. Brown Hill, you no longer desire, you know, to be in the ranks of true morals. You are choosing or have decided to return to the state where the prophet found you, whereas to you are subject to the uh, abuses and inferior names and mistreatments that the people of the United States care to bestow upon you. Yeah. And this ain't no cat. I told you, anytime you dealing with me, I'm going to come to you with facts. I ain't going to cap, I ain't going to mislead you or deceive you. I ain't going to confuse the people. If I come to you with something, I'm come to you. I'm just, I'm grown like that. I ain't here to play childish game, man, because life is too short. But to finish the page, this is a holy and divine movement founded by the prophet Noble Drew Ali. If the prophet is not right, the temple is not right. The prophet, therefore, is sending out the divine plea to all Moorish Americans that they do their part in protecting their prophet and the temple. This is an everlasting movement founded by the prophet through the will of Allah to redeem his people from their sinful ways by order of Prophet Noble Drew Ali. Now, this just goes back to guys still, you know, talking about they no longer with the eel on their name, 
but they still connected and, and you know what I'm saying and laying their thing down. Nah, you can't have it two ways. You can't say you with you with the Moors, then you letting people, you know, influence you to take that off of you. You return to the state. Stay there. Stop talking about Islam. Stop talking about Big Five. You are not a Moor. You are not on the books. And I will defend that. Stop running around and telling people you know this mole, you know that mole. That don't mean nothing. If you're not representing that ill that bell on your name, you locked into some temple. Somewhere. You know, so I ain't finna get radical with that. I'm not because that's, that's what it is when it comes to the law. We're gonna push that. You know, young you didn't make that up. You know, that's what they say. You know, if you, you lose confidence in, in faith in your prophet, return to the state, man. You know, and you you live in that life anyway, a life of slander. So, you know, prophet said we didn't bring that either. You know, you know so yeah, man. Until you, Michael Lack, and the other guy, listen, man, y'all don't really know about the moral science tip of America. So when I speak certain certain phrases or certain words or recite or or, or or read certain scriptures out of the Holy Quran, it's not for y'all. People need to know who I'm talking to when I say certain things. Everything that I say is not for America. It's just sometimes it's going to be from a Moor's point of view, strictly for Moors. And you don't have the Moors, you know, science on you to understand what I'm saying and where I'm coming from. Then you know that it's not for you. Disregard that part. Keep it moving. You know, but just to let y'all know, man, when you have an ill bill on your name and you drop it, you drop it because another person told you to. And you get on TV, man, they go talking all this stuff about you, Big Five, and I love you. Stop that. Stop, stop calling on a lot. Stop saying Islam. Stop, stop, you know what I'm saying? Saying, what up, though? You know, stop saying, stop, stop referring to yourself or anything as far as Islam. You should knock that off. And somebody had to defend that and I'll step up first to do that because you're not a Moor. You're not. You're not a Moor. And people should not refer to you as a Moor or look at you like you're a Moor or, 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 or review you as a, a, a brother with Moor's ties. You do not have that. 